Hey Jody here. I want to do a brief video and talk about a device that I really like for myself and, and for a lot of other people that I work with to help them optimize. And that device is this. It's called the Aura Ring, O-U-R-A. And uh, it's just a ring that I wear on my finger. It's lightweight, it's durable, it's strong. It costs about 300 bucks, by the way, so I think it's well worth the money. Here's what it looks like. And for me, I just wear it as my wedding band because I don't like a whole lot of jewelry. So uh, I take my normal wedding band, put it in the safe, and use this Aura Ring. I wear it during most workouts. Um, if I go really heavy um, with some uh, dumbbells, barbells, I'll pull it off for a couple of sets. But for the most part, 90% of the time, I keep this ring on. So let me tell you why I like it and why I recommend, I'd recommend it to so many people. Um, number one, it, it, it's easy, which I've talked about. Uh, number two, um, for the $300, there's no monthly fee. So it's you, you pay once and you're done with it. Um, but number three, and, and probably most importantly, is I love the, the fact that it gives me just a, a whole lot of quantifiable data um, that I can use to sort of make tweaks, change course, um, do whatever I need to do in order to optimize, to look, feel, and perform better. So in my opinion, the Aura Ring is, is pretty much a no-brainer or some sort of fitness device. I, I just like this one. Um, but when, when I take this and sort of combine it with blood work and a real simple you know blood pressure, you know that's quantitative data as well, plus the Aura Ring, with those three um, sort of uh, tools to provide me information. I've got a whole lot of knowledge about my body and when I say I'm healthy, I've got some uh, pretty good, pretty decent amount of confidence. Not perfect, but, but a decent amount of confidence in order to be able to say that I'm healthy. Most importantly, I can make changes and tweaks um, using this device, this Aura Ring, in order to improve things like my overall recovery, my sleep, etc. So specific to the Aura Ring, um, a couple things that I like about it. One is it provides me with an overall readiness score for the day. And that readiness score is made up of about 10 different variables. Everything from heart rate to heart rate variability, HRV, to body temperature, to sleep the night before, etc. So that's just a few of the 10 different variables that it looks like, looks at in order to provide a readiness score. I can take that readiness score and determine how hard I push or don't push the next day. It's kind of like a budget for the money, right? So um, I can ignore it and continue to press on. For example, if I have a low readiness score, if I can, you know, I can blast legs and go hard, or I can sort of pay attention to pay attention to it. It's better if I do pay attention to it. Um, so if I have a low readiness score, that may be just a recovery day. I may focus on just you know getting steps in and walking, stretching, etc. Um, so that's the use of the readiness score. I also believe that it can tell me, you know, pretty much from a mile away if I'm getting sick. So I think that's good data to have as well. Um, and then secondly, and it does more than this, but the second item that I really like about it is, or variable that I really like about it, is the sleep data. So it also looks at about 10 different um, metrics around sleep. What time do I go to bed? What time do I wake up? Um, how much deep sleep did I get versus REM? versus how many times that I wake up, which is what they're calling restfulness. So it's just a whole lot of real good data um, around my sleep. And so you say, okay, so what? What do you do with that? Well, what I do with that is I determine what's working for me and what's not. Um, so for example, with the, the help of the Aura Ring, I've been able to determine that a big meal late at night or right before bed, I can still change my body, I can still lean up, but it's costing me deep sleep, qual quantity, quality and quantity of deep sleep. Um, that's a deep meal. That's a big meal. Alcohol in the PM is not my friend. Uh, neither is uh, blue light. Uh, being on screen times, uh, being on the cell phone, and, and 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 using screens before bed. All of those tend to really not only impact my sleep, but more importantly, my deep sleep. So that's uh, an example or some examples of how I've used the Aura Ring with success. So. Um, that's what I wanted to cover. If you've got any questions or thoughts or comments on the Aura Ring, O-U-R-A, please post them in the comments below. Otherwise, do me a favor and hit like, share, and subscribe, and I'll keep the content coming. Thanks. Have a good day.